Hello buddies, Pixie here, back with another video. Just stop buying your chips and stop being fat. You save up money, right? You save up money, you buy a spec, you happy. Well, here we are. Thought I, I thought I would never be to this point, honestly, but so be a tutorial. First of all, open up After Effects, make sure everything is synced to your song, so have your impacts. I've already have it uh, twixtered and like time remapped, all that stuff. And we're going to be working on this build up preset right here. You can find it in a Google Doc, link in the description. These are all the effects you can use. You can mess around with them if you'd like to. But I did make this myself from scratch on like a Sovio inspired build up kind of colors like that. I couldn't find any other tutorials on After Effects, so just decided to make one today. You want to go to your shotgun pullout when the actual pullout starts to happen, and that's when you're going to cut the clip for the build up to start. And make sure you sync it up with the beats of your song. Everything should be synced always. For this, you can just leave it blank with color correction. And for the impact, I have all of these lovely things here. Just go ahead and then trim. Uh, I use Twixter for my time remap. I know, but it, it doesn't make a difference. It works all the same. Just keyframe from 100 to 20 uh, in the span of like a couple frames. So it starts at 100. If the speed goes down to 20 within like four to five frames. And that'll give you your slow-mo effect. And then after this, just go ahead and attach the preset in the Google Doc and or Google Drive, I guess. And this is going to give you all of the colors and everything that you want for the buildup. On top of this, you can also add a shake kind of to transition into it a little bit with uh, as underscore dissolve shake key for the percent. Feel free to copy my settings if you'd like. I also added a shake buildup with some s underscore shake and dissolve shake. And I added some warp as well on an adjustment layer. That's pretty self-explanatory, just keyframe bend on fisheye and you should be good. And obviously add sound effects, everything after. I don't want to extend the tutorial because I want people to watch, you know, the whole thing instead of just skipping around. So essentially just copy paste the preset. It's that simple. Subscribe, stay creative and have a good day.